In the next question, that is question 147, which is simply based on formula. This is uh, force of attraction between capacitor plates. Force of attraction between capacitor plates, this is has a standard formula Q square by 2A epsilon naught. But uh, the notations which have been given to you in the questions, they are different. They are saying that a parallel plate air capacitor has capacity C, distance of separation between the plates is D and uh, potential difference applied is V between the plates. You have to find out what is the force of uh, attraction between the plates. You see, you can always say that Q is equal to CV and for uh, C you can always use epsilon naught A by D. Understand? So you can substitute this value of Q here on this thing and use the expression that C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Ultimately, you will find that the expression CV square by 2D, that will be the expression. In fact, this is a standard expression of uh, force of attraction between the plates. So, you should mark this answer 3. That is the answer to question 147. Switch over to next question, that is 148. Now, this uh, next question, that is question 148, which is based on ideal gas equation. But you will be using this ideal gas equation in the modified form that P by rho is equal to RT by M because they want the uh, ratio of molecular weight. You see, finally, they want the ratio of molecular weight of A and B. You have been given two vessels separately contain two ideal gases. You have to compare the things. They have given you same temperature. R is same, T is same. They have given you the ratio of density. You can see uh, density is A is found to be 1.5 times. Density ratio has been given and the pressure also is uh, pressure ratio also is given pressure of a is being uh, twice that of b so if you do that you can calculate the ratio of molecular weight that is what is required in the question and you will be getting the answer 3 by 4 for this particular question switch over to next question that is 149 now the next question that is 149 which is based on gravitation and the clue in this question is that the satellite which is uh, rotating around the earth, it is rotating in elliptical orbit, mind you, this is not rotating in circular orbit and you have to find out which particular option is true. The mass of the satellite has been given to be very small, so you see, you will understand as if it is uh, rotating around the center of the earth in elliptical orbit. The first option is the correct option here, it is saying that the acceleration of uh, satellite S is always directed towards the center of the earth, this is a correct statement, so I will be marking answer 1. Second is statement which is saying that the angular momentum of S about the earth center changes in direction. This is a wrong statement. Angular momentum is constant in direction and magnitude as well. Total mechanical energy is saying that it is varying. No, it is not varying, it is constant. And linear momentum it is saying that it is remaining constant. That is wrong. Since it is elliptical orbit, so magnitude of linear momentum is also changing because once it is very close to the earth, the speed will be increasing and so on, as you say apogee and perigee. Had it been circular orbit, then the magnitude of linear momentum was constant. But since it is elliptical orbit, so this is also wrong. So, I will be marking answer 1 for this question 149. Switch over to next question, that is 150.